We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship, the loudest praise to the King. We give you the highest, the highest praise to the King. We give you the loudest. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We bow down, Lord, we bow down, the highest praise to the King. You have taken all the glory, you have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all the pain. You have taken all the shame. You have taken all the troubles. You have taken all limitations. You have made them yours. Holy Spirit, we cry tonight that you open our eyes yet again. Give us the keys of the kingdom. Open our minds. Open our understandings. Let us comprehend the mystery that you have committed unto us tonight. And Lord, let these keys give us power. Let these keys give us authority. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a while, a few minutes, and we're back on our feet. Mm. Hallelujah. Seven days of encounter. The Bible says, and the Lord appeared to Samuel at Shiloh through his word. The Lord appeared through his word. The Lord gives encounters by granting people access to mysteries. Hallelujah. Tonight we are going to consider a very deep mystery. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it tonight, but wherever we stop, we'll take it tomorrow. From home, the Lord told me beginning from today, right until Thursday, there will be massive angelic activities. That's what the Lord told me. People will receive literal visitations literal visitations of angels visitations of angels prayer lives coming alive mantles fire the coal from heaven being put upon people there are ministries that will be birthed from these seven days visions 
people that will be, the Lord will tap you to begin to write things destiny issues these are issues that will shape the understandings of people hallelujah it was while Daniel was fasting and after 21 days the Bible says the angel said I was sent to come and give you understanding I was sent to bring what I brought is called understanding hallelujah we reign in this kingdom on the strength of the mysteries that we know a mystery is simply a hidden code of operation there are certain things that are not given to mere men it says it has been given to you to know the bible calls them the secrets jesus called them the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah grant us grace in the name of jesus please listen carefully we are going to pray we have prayed that's why we have some sessions to pray before i come up just be patient just just flow gently elijah and i want you to listen overflow one two three because what i'm going to share tonight is going to open your eyes to many things i know some of you are yet to understand yesterday's teaching but you just follow that's why the teachings are uploaded for you to listen hallelujah tonight i'm sharing a very very deep deep mystery the mystery of the serpent and the woman write it down hmm. the mystery of the serpent and the woman genesis chapter 3 please we look to yahweh yahweh Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. You are the source of our light. Forever, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. My hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh. Genesis chapter 3 please sit down i'd like us to look at scripture for a few minutes and let 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 the lord open our eyes to a very deep mystery this was after man fell the bible says that the lord they had the voice of god walking in the cool of the day please follow me carefully and then the bible says that he he came to man adam now and said adam where are you where are you the first question was was he missing that means god kept there was a position in the spirit where god could always see him from heaven are we together and god found out that seat was vacant and he said adam where are you and adam said i heard your voice but i hid because i was naked remember our teaching yesterday that satan dominates men by transferring an information and he said who told you where did you hear this from i never gave you that information you allowed a stranger to give you an information and then he said the woman this is where my teaching starts the mystery of the serpent and the woman he said the woman you gave me is the cause of my problem and he said woman what is this that you have done and then she replied back she said the serpent there was a stranger that always visited me he never caught me but he kept telling me things and on the strength of the information he gave me he beguiled me and he turned to the serpent and he caused the serpent now let's follow he said listen now this is god speaking not angel michael not angel gabriel god your god he said i will put enmity between thee who is the thee? the serpent and the woman then he says 
now listen so case one is that you and the woman will be enemies we can take that but please read carefully it says i'm between thy seed whose seed your offspring your descendants and her descendants this enmity is not just you and the woman serpent you are going to reproduce yourself and have a generation and those people they will coexist in the same territory it says this enmity will not only be between you and the woman are we together now your seed and her seed and he said he shall bruise thy head and you shall bruise his heel this is god speaking now watch this have you seen the child of satan anywhere remember he's not talking about those possessed this is not demon possession here he's talking of people who were giving birth to an offspring I will put enmity between you and the woman listen let me tell you something the first thing I want to tell you here is that if you are a woman a lady just for being a woman there is a war on your life whether you are a baby woman or old woman or adult woman there is there is a vendetta between Satan and women and i will show you women are not just figures with wombs there is there is a deep mystery about them follow me carefully so this is god speaking i will put enmity between you and the woman and then between her seed of course we know theologically speaking that that seed is christ but it's not just christ alone because Christ came as a person and there is an implication just like the seed of Abraham being Christ Galatians 3 29 says and if he be Christ then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise so we are talking about something that is both prophetic here are we together now question where is the seed of Satan That means on this earth, there are several kinds of people. We claim there are 7.2 billion people on the earth. Human beings, we are so wrong. Because there are people on this earth that are descendants of the serpent. Satan. I'm not talk, they are not possessed. Salvation is not for them because salvation is for men. These people, we are not talking of evangelism and born again. <laughs> are we together? That in your earth now, your territory, there are people just the same way Satan cannot receive salvation. The same way Satan can't be saved, can't be born again. There is a descendant, there is a generation of a species of people not in the spirit not in planet mass not in pluto on earth now they walk around your environment but they are not humans just follow me it is not hidden in the bible that we are not alone from genesis to revelation you see that there has been an interference human beings have at several points encountered angels encountered jesus is that true encountered spirits if you listen some of you if you understand what i'm saying before i finish talking you will see that certain diseases will just leave this thing is an old story just follow me are we together now theologically speaking give us genesis chapter 6 those of us who have God has granted grace to do a little study you would have learned hallelujah the Bible says it came to pass look up please when men began to multiply remember 
multiply was a command God gave men so men were doing what was correct men began to multiply how through reproduction so it is all right for a man to impregnate a woman and have a child God designed it that way are we together now listen carefully and then the Bible says daughters were born unto them next verse that the sons of God now hold on carefully that there were a group of people who were watching what was going on on earth where men were reproducing and multiplying the Bible calls them sons of God this translation in itself is an error because it has created problem in the body of Christ are we together because people think these sons of God is the same that Jesus says as many as received him I hope you know that the translation of the Bible was not done by angels it was done by human beings with their imperfections who were also influenced at several it is the potency of the scripture that is unbendable but the the linguistic of it you need the spirit of god if not by itself it can deceive you because human beings wrote it down are, are we okay now the sons of god saw that the daughters of men were fair so whoever this group of people are we know they are not men do we agree look at it the bible says those whoever they are that they saw on earth that they were a group of women the word fair there just means they were beautiful so these people had emotions they could see a beautiful woman and be attracted to her are we together now and then the bible says and they took them wives of all that they chose question do you think the women will see a beast waving his hands sister if i came to you with wings and drop with light flashing and i say i love you wouldn't you run the bible says they took wives it didn't say they raped them there was something satan told the women those descendants and made them follow and became wives and then the bible says the lord said my spirit and all of that go to verse 4 and then he says there were giants in the earth he's now telling us the products of this union between these entities and the daughters of men that there were giants in the earth in those days and after that he said when the sons of god came into the daughters of men they bear what please talk to me children now children is a human term you don't use children for angels you don't use children for all of this so something had happened between these spirits and these women and the result is physical children just like your child are you seeing that now and the bible says the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown stop where are these children today giants are just a side effect but that's that's not the only thing the union produced because the bible says they were children are we together the word sons of god there he gave birth theologically speaking many of you have studied it one of the class of these offsprings were called the nephilims are we together now yes the nephilims here talk about that aberration the, the original word nephilim means the fallen ones are we together now rebels that were a product of this union and the bible says they gave birth to physical children meaning you would see them and say good morning sir you would think it's just another human and another human but the bible says these people you see are not pure human beings this bet did not happen in heaven now there are many theologians i don't want to waste our time tonight but this has been an argument between teachers of the gospel for many years that it cannot have been angels why because two scriptures that the bible says to none of the angels did he say thou art my son i told you there is a mistake the word there is benign elohim the word that is translated there is not just the word son like an offspring of a person i hope you know that lucifer was not the first to throw down angels there have been angels that have fallen but it was not under lucifer's leadership <laughs> there
there are angels that are bound in chains now that Lucifer has nothing to do with. They are not his offspring. He was not the cause. But they fell. The lake of fire did not start now. It's been there. It's a system of God's justice. Angels have their wills. They can choose to rebel. Are you listening to me now? Please understand what I'm teaching you. And then the Bible says, These men came, come, and got wives. The women, I don't know whether they thought they were marrying human beings or marrying whatever. But one thing the Bible tells us clearly is that the children that came from these women were strange. Now listen carefully. And then the Bible tells us, go to verse 5. Let me see where we can stop. And God saw, notice, the mention of wickedness happened the moment these offsprings came. Listen. Listen, men were already bad, but the wickedness did not touch God. But when these angels mix with a human race, the offspring that came, they came with a level of wickedness that a pure human being cannot produce. That is true that men fell, but it was not so wicked. Hear what the Bible says, that God saw that the wickedness of man now was great in the earth and every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually these guys had done something to the race and hear what god said god oh your god and it repented god that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him in his heart what kind of wickedness did these nephilims introduce that made things so bad listen you look at our world today and see certain levels of wickedness and inhuman activity a human being cannot do it have you seen where there is an accident and you see people it's not whether they are christians or muslims they run to help the person those are men because no matter their differences they still have that sense of sympathy but there are men whose behavior is not human So we're discussing something here that is a very, very serious subject. That he said, woman, there will be something between you and this serpent. You are going to have offsprings, Christ being the chiefest of them. But make no mistake, this guy you see is going to find a way of bringing an offspring too. So eventually it will be a clash of offsprings. That Satan has his own offsprings on earth <laughs> the angels that did not keep their original estate and they came down when angels came and visited abraham abraham's wife made physical food please talk to me is that true did the angels not eat it they ate it they swallowed it it entered their body it's only because the bible said they were angels that's why we know if we just saw them in a drama we think they were human beings but they ate are we together a lot of people say spirits and angels cannot give birth they can't produce that's an error how did mary get pregnant when angel gabriel came to mary and he said you are highly favored Madam, you are going to be pregnant. She said, no, 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 no. I was not taught this way. It is impossible to be pregnant without a human man. And the angel said, let me tell you, there is something that is a reality in the realm of the spirit. The, a spirit can come upon you and then you will have a physical child, not a spiritual child. A spirit, in this case, is the Holy Ghost. But it's a character that is possible with all spirits. That it can come upon you and without a man hold on but the seed that that spirit puts is still compatible with your womb and it can give birth to something else are we together now so satan hears that instruction and then the bible leaves a very serious gap that i'm not going to discuss this night and all of a sudden all that the bible tells us is that eve became pregnant 
and then gave birth to Cain. Follow me carefully. And then she gave birth to Abel. And we see two people come up and we see a behavior that was not in Adam, was not in Eve. Are we together now? We see Cain manifesting a strange behavior and he kills his brother Abel. Notice from Genesis, there is nowhere in the Bible where the genealogy is given and you hear Cain and Abel mentioned again. Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. Where did they throw Cain and Abel? Were they not children too? It's not for tonight's discussion. But there is a long story about that Cain and Abel you see because Paul borrowed that story in the book of Romans to teach about the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh are we together Paul said just like a woman just like Eve was pregnant there are two people walking in me one man is the spirit so that I serve the Lord with my spirit but I see another law like a woman carrying children and all of them are behaving as though they came from different men. The fallen ones. Give us John chapter 8. Let's hear something that Jesus is saying. From verse 43. John chapter 8. If you are a Christian, just look up. John chapter 8. Jesus now comes many years later. And he's teaching us why do ye not understand my speech this is jesus now he says even because ye cannot hear my word who is he talking to he's talking to a group of people who are making his ministry difficult some of them were scribes some of them were pharisees remember we're talking about the offsprings listen carefully jesus shows up and the people opposing him are not the prostitutes the people opposing him are not the drunkards there was a group of people with unusual influence remember yesterday i taught you that satan called jesus and said don't bother all the people in position are mine i own this system now these guys are making life difficult please read for me what jesus says one to read stop you are of who who is talking now what did jesus call the pharisees and the sadducees he said you are offsprings i look at you and i see your behavior you guys are not humans you look like you are humans you are of your father the devil he's not just saying you are listening to satan like i look at pastor alpha's son and i say ah this is pastor alpha's son and he looked and discerned he said you are among men carrying a regalia in the temple moving around like priests but i look at you you guys are not pure human beings the real human being among them broke his pride and came to jesus by night and said rabbi i'm too i, I can't hide it this thing is touching me but there were some hardened guys they were just moving it didn't matter what jesus did you are of your father the devil and the lost desires of your father you will do are you seeing that now so they are not in that temple to please god they were sent on assignment although wearing a priestly regalia look we are discussing the bible now is there anything i'm saying that is not in the bible you are not here as human beings just raising children and being a nice father you are on assignment and the lust of your father he will do then he gave them an information for them to know he knew what he was saying why will jesus tell them this extra information if they didn't know anything about it he said he was a murderer he took them back he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaks so satan is a speaking spirit it's not only god he said he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it give us 45 and because i tell you the truth ye believe me not jesus meets a group of people he kept studying their behavior 
and looking at them and saying no are you not seeing how heartless these people are that for 18 years a woman was too bound is it not in your bible crying every day for 18 years yet these guys were in the temple and the day jesus comes and heals her everybody is happy except this group of people they say what is the meaning of this and jesus said ah what sort of people are you this heart a human being cannot have it ah. There are some of the people in our villages that we think are just relatives they have manifested characteristics that human beings cannot be the ones having there is a way a man speaks you will know that this is not demon possession this one is a species that is not even jesus was not a pure human being even jesus was not a pure human being yet he moved with the disciples he slept with them he got up in the morning and he looked at them and at a point he surprised them before your father abraham was i am 33 years ah, ah. they said don't, don't play with our intelligence here he said continue your rubbish i'm telling you this when the demons saw him they said no 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 jesus have you come to destroy us before our time jesus said be silent look at how they were talking you see a 33 year old man and you are talking something ancient and the disciples that's why the disciples got angry they said look you better tell us who you are this thing is paining us now today you are this we are eating bread we know your mother is alive next tomorrow we are seeing something else again remember the bible says mary kept these things to herself so mary did not share with people it was just a scandal that ended that mary was pregnant oh and joseph said he's not the one and after a few years they said well joseph just take it so most people did not know because mary kept it i will put enmity between the serpent and the woman and between his seed and her seed can we look at something else before we pray <laughs> now watch this we have established the fact that a spirit is under constant watch over a woman the most important part of a woman for satan is not her figure it's not her face it's her womb that womb is a serious issue for satan listen carefully so that the next time you see that a woman cannot get pregnant you know that it's not just the issue of the man there is an old story this womb of a woman is a threat to satan because it is the mechanism god designed are we together now yes do you know why the angels came and started sleeping with the daughters of men in an attempt to plant a seed because they thought mary was part of them she thought at least mary has to be among these beautiful women and they started coming at random to have affair with the women every child that was born they studied the prophecy behind him the moment they had something unusual they said attack him so they looked for moses they looked for everybody the moment they had that there was something unusual when john the baptist was born they kept coming to say who are you john it was the spirit of the antichrist manipulating people they wanted to ask john john kept confusing them who are you john where did you come from we just know that they say you're in the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey are you a human being at all john your father is zachariah yes we know your mother is elizabeth but human beings eat food they eat fish they eat bread what kind of a person are you that you are in the wilderness alone and all you are eating is locusts and wild honey John said, I'm the voice of one crying. He said, what is this one again? Hmm. That John Ba, we'll talk about him one day. Because that John, you see, the Bible says, many of you think John was a normal human being. No, sir. A man that was born filled with the Spirit. It's in your Bible. And then Jesus told them, if you can bear it, that is Elijah you have been looking at. He said, if, if you have the faith to receive, that guy wearing all those things is your Elijah. This is where the people of our traditional vi our villages 
studied what they call reincarnation it is where they got this aberrated concept that they say people can come back to life and re-manifest having another body hallelujah now listen carefully this generation this generation of God's people have a battle that they do not even realize that they are fighting are we together there is an intentional offspring of Satan that is on rampage to destroy everything that is Christ there are men who are possessed there are men who are manipulated but there are people who are not human beings these ones cannot receive salvation I, you I pray that one day the Holy Spirit will open your eyes to see and believe this thing are you getting what I'm saying now yes when Paul and Barnabas did something extraordinary the people looked at them and say you guys are not pure human beings they knew they called one Zeus and they called another Hermes they were not surprised this way when you study classical Greek mythology this were this were Greek gods they were also part of these offsprings the nephilims were not the only people there were many other classifications and let me tell you this there are still those species on earth you have been looking for giants there are some who are not giants but they are devils satan has made sure that they occupied strategic positions are you hearing what i'm saying now you are of the father the devil jesus is talking to the men of god of his days who go to church every sunday and preach to people jesus stand looked and said no way uh -uh. you guys are not just scribes you are not just pharisees i look at you and i see that you are of your father the devil now let me tell you where this gets serious and where it applies to us tonight we'll still continue i'm just touching this whole thing just to give us do we all agree with me so far i want to explain a few things that will surprise you now the bible lets us know you know that everyone who is born and it is a spirit entity or not a pure human being that child comes with extra characteristics is that true either they are gigantic or some unusual strength or something it has been an age-long experiment that satan wants to corrupt this race because when men become too corrupted god will have to destroy he knows that his time is short are you getting what i'm saying this is what has led to some of the incurable diseases that we have today this the origin of these diseases was not a virus roaming around it's an experiment women where do you find fibroid in a woman's body on her head talk to me the same place where a seed should be a woman goes to bed in the night and a stranger comes watch this she thinks she's dreaming and that stranger is having all kinds of union with her she gets up in the morning knowing that somebody slept with me and then all of a sudden something begins to happen to her system that should not be and if for any reason that fibroid is there and you try to put your seed as a man it will kill it and survive are we together then comes cancer a disease that comes upon you with its own life and starts growing independent of the nutrients of your body because everything that is drawing from your body should grow at the same pace but this one comes with its life multiplies and tries to kill every other good cell you call it unicellular yet it is so intelligent it knows its assignment it breaks down your immune system and destroys you are you getting what i'm saying now and then all of a sudden it happens too 
a man will go to bed in, in the night to sleep and all of a sudden you find out that there are all kinds of unholy union this man will get up knowing that although he went to sleep you know preachers don't talk about this because it looks like an ugly part of uh, this thing but i want to explain to you a mystery and all of a sudden that man gets married and becomes impotent and cannot explain what is going on look at how satan is passionate about seeds jesus explained this in a parable because the people did not have the argument to understand he said there was a man who had seeds and wanted to go to the farm is that true the bible says he planted wheat correct he says while men slept another person who was holding seeds waiting for nights to come also came to the same farm that farm is the earth and planted tears among wheat and the bible says he went his way is that true the bible says both seeds grew it didn't say one died both seeds grew and then in the passage of time the people started noticing that these seeds they were all looking green but at this point their characteristics something is different and they came they said sir was it not wheat that you sowed here and then he looked and smiled he said an enemy has come this breed is not pure something someone came to the earth that when men sleep in the night on planet earth there are entities not that they come from mass they move around they enter the dream life of people they come physically and try to sow seeds remember that's all they come to do they don't come to discuss they come to sow seeds and walk away our generation if we don't have intelligence we're in trouble because as at the time the bible was written this experiment had not been advanced to discover fibroid or hepatitis the same way the seed of the woman is growing in advancement this is how satan is experimenting ways of making this corruption effective you don't find fibroid in the bible you don't find hepatitis in the bible because that that level of civilization had not come until one day you find out that that thing you call fibroid now has a head now has a hand now is a human it can come out that thing does not stay for nine months use your brain to think of what it is that after nine months it is not willing to come out hmm. Hmm. there are people today with hiv it's not that they slept anywhere i remember praying for one woman years ago and this woman told me that someone came in the night i've told you who that someone is there is a generation it's not always satan whether they meet you in the realm of the spirit or in the physical it makes no difference came with a syringe and said this syringe is an hiv virus and injected her with it and she woke up in the physical realm and then started getting sick went to the hospital you will look at that woman now and think madam you are not faithful to your husband but that's it that virus the best medicine can do is to administer antiretrovirals but the cause of that thing you see is not human the cause of cancer is not human huh doctors learn this when you understand this you will see miracles in the hospital that will surprise you cancer hiv now you see all kinds of diseases stem up there are all kinds of names and people just know that they found the first person with the disease they don't know where it came from the only thing they can ask the person is where what village are you from they go and study the trees and the plants is there a lion in your village is there a monkey did you ever live with it did you keep your believe forget all those things i'm telling you where this thing came from it comes from the spirit something about this seed of the serpent does something to the womb of a woman does something to the race of men and it will continue to advance until the people who will arise because there is still a prophecy there and this is a prophecy that will be the basis of our prayer the seed of the woman shall bruise shall shall bruise shall bruise 
that the only entity on earth capable of stopping this agenda is whoever proceeds as the seed of that woman are we together now yes so jesus proceeded as that seed but then in him now his offsprings that's why he said in luke 10 19 he said behold i give you power to tread upon i it didn't say upon witches i give you power go back to genesis and see what the power should do to tread. there is an old story serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies why will jesus use serpents and scorpion the disciples understood they never said jesus what is serpent what is scorpion uh -uh. it's not talking about that thing you catch he knew what he was saying he said there is an agenda there is a generation of the serpent anywhere you see them there is an anointing upon you you can crush them the seed of the woman satan has already bruised the heel of the church enough because there are people who have died there are people who have suffered casualties but god is dependent on the seed of the woman to fulfill this prophecy it's a mystery in revelation that mystery was reacted again that a woman was pregnant with a man child and satan left everything that dragon and was waiting to see the child so that he will eat the child and the bible says that that the wind carried the woman to a safe place so she can give birth to that man child safely and that man child is christ and the bible says in galatians 3 29 that if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs heirs part of those who will crush his head part of those who will crush him in your family listen you will be fooling yourself to imagine there is no representation of that generation in your lineage it, it will be it will be a, a joke and flattery beyond your imagination they are everywhere are we together they don't die fast they don't get old when they are getting old they exchange human beings to elongate their own life they sit down and keep watching the rising of men and the falling they are not human beings if they were possessed we can deliver them and intercede for them let me tell you this there are people you will sit down interceding for their salvation and god will tell you don't waste your time you don't know what species these people are coming from you will think that you didn't hear god well god will say look i am telling you this don't waste your time <laughs> listen did you notice that jesus never preached to the scribes and the pharisees the only one of them he preached the gospel to was nicodemus why every time he met every other person he spoke to them about the kingdom the crowds the kingdom but when he saw them he was always insult you brood of vipers he started from john the baptist he never called them human being he said you are vipers what is a viper is it a human being you appear as if you are human beings when he was eating with the people they were always in his crusades yet he never paid i saw the way it disturbed me for a long time how unmerciful jesus was to these people not once did he preach any gospel to any of them destroyers of his ministry every time they saw kindness everybody was happy except them notice they were the only ones who got angry at everything good it was a group of them we are going to pray oh. we are going to pray listen let me tell you i'm not a killer i don't kill but i know that i've been instructed to crush the head of any generation that is not humans if you're offended you can go home come tomorrow i'll talk about favor later on and other things you like but this night if it is to rise ah. Huh? 
if it is to rise in power and in life then let me tell you there is a generation it is not repentance it's not oh god touch their heart if they don't repent no there's nothing about repentance there these are not human beings there's no preaching the gospel for salvation are we together when they saw jesus casting out devils they looked at him and said this is beelzebub the prince of demons and he said ah, if you call me beelzebub then by who do your fathers so there were other people casting out spirits by another agency not jesus there were strange people in the bible who were destroyed there were other people that god would go out of his way to preach to but there were others that land there was no salvation are you ready to pray tonight is a very simple prayer if you don't know what to pray just pray in tongues but we are going to pray listen to me listen to me there is a name that the nephilims are called two names that will constitute our prayer tonight one they are called watchers do you know what watchers are huh it is the offspring of this that we are called familiar spirits their assignment is to study the growth of people within a territory and make sure that there is a limitation as covenanted they are called watchers not watchmen watchers should i give you an example of those kinds of wicked spirits although in this case he was not one of the nephilims but they called him a madman but that madman went to stay in a strategic cave when jesus was going to the other side the spirit said go and meet him who told the madman jesus was coming as soon as jesus got there here was a madman looking at him and the demon started to speak have you come to destroy us we know you are coming to liberate this territory but we are the watchers over this territory the moment jesus casted them out immediately somebody's business went down immediately and it made them to drive jesus out of town they said jesus leave leave please leave you are making us lose here these spirits number two they are called gatekeepers you know what a gate is is the mystery of access that opens you up to a whether to to healing to grace to anointing there are families whose destiny are under the keys of gatekeepers they are not humans they sit down and manipulate the destinies of families please pray oh when it's time to pray it's a few minutes but pray are we together they are the ones who study all the graduates five people the only person that graduates they now kill him and you will think it's a mistake the gatekeepers but tonight rise up on your feet let's pray let's pray let's pray let's pray and the seed of the woman hallelujah listen the watchers they make sure that the ordinances spoken over territories remain so so they declare over this territory no woman marries a good man why because a good man with her will produce a good child and that child can be an evangelist that will change that land so they are watchers the moment how many of you have seen that somebody just says i love you something happens it's like a report sent in the spirit immediately and something happens immediately i want to give you a job and all of a sudden the watchers lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit
Alléluia. Alléluia. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command the sword of vengeance. The sword of vengeance upon every entity. Upon every entity. Manipulating my destiny, manipulating my family. Lift your voice and pray. Shifting in the spirit. I know something is happening. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I prophesy over my territory. Over my territory. Over my family. Over my family. Over my loved ones. Over my loved ones. Every gatekeeper. Every gatekeeper. Holding the keys. Holding the keys to their next level. To their next level. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command the gate open now. I command. Oh, 
We are going to pray. Listen. Just pray what I tell you. Whether you understand what I'm saying or not. The Lord just showed me something now and we are going to pray. Are we together? Say in the name of Jesus. In the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Every door. Every, every door, door. That has given Satan access. That, that has given, given Satan, Satan access. access to visit me to visit me in dreams in in dreams, dreams, and encounters and encounters in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i declare i declare that door is closed now that door is closed now let her be Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come out from tonight's prayer. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. They are not humans. They are watchers. Yeah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every stranger. Every stranger. Oppressing me at night. Oppressing me at night. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break your hold over my life. I break your hold of my life. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Just two more prayers and we are done tonight. Listen. Mm. One of the greatest areas, hear me, fire is burning in this place, I tell you. One of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home. You can preach to others. You can be holding crusades, raising wheelchairs, but if that gospel nears your compound, here they come. They are watchers. You can preach to anyone else, sing to anyone else, but if that thing comes near your compound, are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, in, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus I, declare, I, I declare that the gospel, that the gospel, gospel of salvation, of salvation, of healing, of healing, of restoration, of restoration, reaches all my loved ones, reaches all my loved ones right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. This last prayer point, even if you have not prayed anything tonight, I'm going to give you a few minutes to really pray. Are we together? Aside from the gospel, the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family life. Listen to me. If they cannot stop you from settling down, they stop fruitfulness or they plant something in your child you give birth to a child who becomes something else it's not normal we are going to pray listen every sister here when it's time to pray lay your hands on your womb listen i'm blasting tongues and pray i will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit Lift your voice and pray. here having visitations of spirits coming to you in the night molesting you whether as animals as humans male or female i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost i decree and declare let that fire separate you and them right now separate you and them right now separate you and them right now
Lift your hands and pray. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part of. If there be any seed of Belial, any seed kapatata, of the prince of darkness in your lineage, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of Jeshurun oh, and I decree and declare let fire land on that lineage today. Let fire land on that lineage tonight. Lift your hands. Was he praying? The altars of impotency, the altars of barrenness, the altars, just keep your hands lifted, of poverty, the altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage, in many lineages represented here. Right now I decree and declare, let the fire fall and destroy them. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said. That when you want a body to stop functioning, remove the spirit in the body. These entities are combinations of spirits and bodies. There is a strategy for stopping their function. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names. That if there is any of those entities, please listen, I'm praying now. I'm seeing fire falling on people. That if there is any entity, whether in our villages or our homes, that is not a pure human, sent by darkness, right now, I cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies. Amen. I cause a separation between Amen. their spirits and bodies. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Amen. I command the earth to open and swallow Amen. them. I command the earth to open and swallow Amen. them. Hey. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. If there is anything that your family should have handled today I don't care whether it's position of influence there are some of you where you are with your love for God you should not be at that level now yes, but there is something programming your remaining there can I prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody in the name of Jesus tonight by this grace and unction I declare to you every entity holding you down May the grave swallow them now. Amen. Every entity holding you down. May the grave swallow them now. Amen. Therefore, I prophesy to you, beginning from tonight, rise to a level you have never seen. Rise to a new dimension of influence. Rise to a new dimension of power. Hallelujah. Can I prophesy over your finances? Yes, sir. Do you believe it? The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall he be established. He said, believe in his prophets. Don't mind this, our arrogant generation that will not listen to the word. Are we together? Let me tell you something. There is something called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you. By this time, tomorrow, I'm saying it. If you have the faith to receive, 
I stand in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. By this time tomorrow, may my God surprise you. By this time tomorrow, I prophesy to you. I shift things. I shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit. I command strangers. I seize their sleep. May they bless you. I instruct them. I set it as an ordinance in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's by the spirit. Listen. You will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow. Some of you, you will be minding yourself after the grace, just walking home. And before you reach home, you are already crying for joy and saying, what is this? What is this? Listen, if you can receive for your family, I stretch my hands. Some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day. But may my God give them a sign tonight. May my God surprise them with a sign tonight. A sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow. May my God give them a sign tonight. Listen. Listen, let me tell you something. We're rounding up. You see, before you believe a man, go and find out his track record. Don't just believe foolishly. Ask questions. This person talking like this, as he said it before, and what happened? The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. It's not pride. It's the truth. This seven days was designed to change us. Listen, tomorrow I'm going to give you some instructions. Huh? By Friday, you are going to carry your documents and the rest and come with it. Let me see the devil. Let me see the principality. Except it is not God that ordained this ministry. You will see what my God will do. There must come a time in your life where God will shift you. If you don't shift, it's your fault though. Let me tell you this. Hallelujah. I'm praying over finances. We're rounding up already. I, I didn't plan to talk about this. But the Lord just put it in my spirit. It's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you're doing. Please. It's, it's, not, it's not a ritual. We're not playing games here. But I want to pray for people who can believe. This man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of God. The Bible says, let every man minister according to the measure of grace. Do you understand? I can look at someone and say, take 10 naira from my pocket. This is me, a man. Talk more the God of heaven. But he's helpless until someone declares. Please, just believe me once. I beg you in the name of Jesus this night. Just be You can insult me if it doesn't happen. But just believe I want to pray again for your finances in the name of Jesus Christ I pray and I ask my God the God who has taken me by his grace the God who took this ministry by his grace I stand before his altar and I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate don't ask where it will come from you will not see the wind you will not see rain but I program a climate of strange favor over your life Listen. 
if there is anything anyone has stolen from you i'm prophesying some of you will go back home and find it there nobody brought it in the name of jesus you will go back home and find it waiting for you here in the name of jesus christ we're rounding up father bless your people tonight in the name of jesus please don't fail to testify your testimonies will build the faith of others in the name of jesus christ now please just just a little announcement and we share the grace don't come alone everywhere is already filled we're even praying that god will grant us grace but this is not just there are some of you as i'm praying you know people who are struggling this is not just about finances god has opened a portal over the land to bring people into an experience don't be selfish this is not about ministry this is not a koinonia thing god is opening an opportunity for people to pray that's number one number two when you go back home don't just roam around till evening then you carry your bible and come this mystery pray it you will wake up tomorrow and share with your friends the kind of dreams and encounters you will have tonight some of you will have dreams where you will see individuals waving you and saying this is it it's over and you will wake up and see your life change hallelujah it's a ministry of signs and wonders i bless you in the name of jesus may the lord increase and multiply you in the name of jesus for those worshiping with us for the first time we really love you we're just trying to work with time maybe on tuesday or wednesday we'll take our time to honor you in the name of jesus let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.